my father was a paradox. On the one hand, he was one of the most entrepreneurially minded person that I've ever known. He represents the epitome of what we in, uh, so celebrate in the American uh, system. Having 25 cents or the equivalent of that in his pocket, you know, leaving at the age of about 20 or 13 years old to come to Bombay, which is the Indian equivalent of New York City, to make his career. At the same time that he's very entrepreneurial, he was also very traditional in the ways that he thought about how women in particular should behave. So on the one hand, he wanted me to use my mind, but on the other hand, he felt like it was his responsibility and his right to choose whom I should marry. And of course, as a woman, I should not work. America is a country that is built on the belief of production and creation and personal initiative and enterprise first. So I think it's very important that people feel empowered to really um, Think about what it is that they want to do. Think hard and long about yourself and about what your true interests are. And then invest in making sure that you're the best that you can be in whatever it is that you choose to be. I think I chose the life that he ultimately was very proud that I did choose, which is to say no to him and to walk away. Uh, from a very rich father and a very rich inheritance to come to this country with two suitcases in my hand and say, I want to be here and I want to live the life that I want to live. So I'm Rashri Agarwal. I am the director of the Ed Snyder Center for Enterprise and Markets.